What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Alice and please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. If you're not new, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to show you something that is not a dessert for once. We're gonna make something savory, fry and delicious and very, very typical Italian. I'm talking about arancini di riso alla siciliana or Sicilian rice bowl. Those are the traditional one, the real recipe. Not all the modification that you can find like in the United States or in Canada or all over the world. This is like straight from Italy and this is how it's supposed to be made. So the ingredients for this recipe that you're gonna need is boiled rice. I usually like to use arborio rice. I just cook it in abundant uh, salted water and then when I drain it, don't rinse it because you need the stickiness from the gluten in the rice. Then you're gonna need saffron, parmigiano cheese, a melted cheese. Right here I have San Fontina cheese, but you can also use mozzarella or white cheddar, whatever you prefer. Then we have some peas, meat sauce, eggs, breadcrumbs, and oil to fry the rice bowl. For the meat sauce, I'm gonna leave it right here or right here. I don't know when I'm gonna edit the video, how it's gonna be, but I'm gonna leave you the video for my meat sauce. It's meaty, it's thick, it's delicious. So these are the ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe. This is my grandma's recipe. She's from Sicily. So I think she knows what she's doing. So let's get to the recipe, shall we? All right, you guys, first things that you wanna do, you wanna grab your big bowl and put your boiled rice into your bowl. Then you're gonna add your Parmigiano cheese, one of the eggs, and the saffron powder. Make sure you use the powder and not the other kind because you wanted to mix it well together with all the ingredients. Then after that, you're gonna grab a glove or if you don't wanna use a glove, you can also use your bare hand. And you're gonna mix it all together until everything is well combined in a beautiful golden yellow color. Okay, once your rice, it's well mixed together with all the other ingredients, what you wanna do, you wanna grab a bowl with a little bit of vegetable oil. This is gonna need, you're gonna need this because the rice is pretty sticky and you don't want it to stick to your hands. And then you have all your three ingredients that are gonna go inside the rice bowl. You have your meat sauce, your cheese, and your peas. What you wanna do, you're gonna grease your hands with a little bit of the oil. Then you're gonna grab a little rice, a little bit of the rice. You're gonna make a bowl. And then with your thumb, you're just gonna press and make a hole inside your rice. Then you're gonna grab a little bit of meat sauce, like so. Then you're gonna grab some peas and a couple pieces of cheese, maybe three, if you want it cheesy. And then you're gonna grab a little bit more of the rice, you're gonna work it, and then you're gonna place it on top, and you're gonna close your rice bowl. And while you're rolling your rice bowl, you just gotta press and roll, press and roll, like so, until your rice bowl is formed. And then you're gonna do that for the rest of the rice. Okay, once you finish to shape your rice bowl, it's time to bread it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the remaining eggs right here. I'm gonna put it in my plate and I'm gonna whisk it with a fork, like so. And here I have also my breadcrumbs. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my rice bowl. I'm gonna roll it into the egg wash first. Shake the excess out, place it into the breadcrumb and kind of shape it with my hands as well. 
until it's nice and well coated all around. And then I'm gonna place it on my plate and I'm gonna do that for the rest of the rice bowl until I'm finished. All right, here we are on the stove and I have my oil in the pot and it's hot and ready. And to see if your oil is ready, of course you can buy a thermometer. Also, you can use a wooden toothpick. You're just gonna insert the wooden toothpick in the oil and if it start to bubble all around, like so that means that the oil is ready and we can fry our rice bowls so what do you want to do you're gonna grab your spider and because the oil it's very hot you're gonna place your rice bowl in the spider and you're just gonna put it inside so this is gonna prevent you from from burning yourself and I'm gonna fry three at a time because I don't want the oil temperature to drop. I want it to stay nice and hot. And I'm gonna cook them until they're nice and golden brown. We don't have to cook it for too long because everything that we put together, it's already cooked. All right, you guys, my rice bowl are done. I finished to fry them. And of course, I had to take a couple pictures for the gram because we always have to take a picture for the gram. And also I forgot to mention all the measurement, like all my recipe, all the measurement for the ingredients. I'm gonna be listed in the description box down below, as well as my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok page, all the above, all down in the description box. I'm gonna put also like the meat sauce video as well. So you can go check it out and make a delicious, meaty, thick meat sauce. But now, enough rambling, let's try. I cut one and I wanted to show you the inside. Look how glorious it looks. It's meaty, it's cheesy. The rice, basically, you don't want too much rice. You want like the filling to be present and to fill your mouth with the meatiness of the meat sauce. And of course, I have a little bit of Pinot Grigio, I believe, is it? Yeah, Pinot Grigio. A little bit of wine because with the arancini, a little bit of wine, why not? And now let's taste it. Mm. The cheese is definitely melted. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Yummy. This is amazing. And I know a lot of people are used to eating rice bowl with like a dipping sauce, but in Italy, we don't serve tomato sauce on the side with your arancini. You just eat it as it is. It's a street food, so you usually grab it and go while you walk and you eat the, your rice bowls. So this is why we don't have any dipping sauce. Let's pair it with a little bit of wine. Oh my God. It goes down like water, delicious. Also, if you are vegetarian, you can also just use tomato sauce, cheese and peas instead of using the meat sauce. But let me tell you, if you're not using the meat sauce, you're missing out. I'm just gonna say you're missing out. All right, I hope you enjoy spending time with me. If you're gonna recreate it, those beautiful arancini siciliani, make sure you tag me at Alice Contesini. I'm gonna leave it right here or right here. I don't know which place it's gonna go yet, but make sure to tag me. And until next time, I'll see you soon, my beautiful people. Love you, bye.